talk about disruptions and what we do is regulations are changing, political systems are changing, weather patterns are changing, life itself is changing. How do we embrace the disruption? How do we embrace, not run from it, not get angry about it, not fight against it? How do we embrace it? How do we become even more because of the disruption? Well, let me begin by giving you today three questions to stop asking. If it's a disruption in your relationship at home or in your family or something going on at work, something going on with those that you serve, your leadership team, the people that you're selling into, whatever it might be, three questions that are keeping you from becoming the best version of yourself. I always begin with these. I call them the victim's questions. I find on my bad days, when I am being a victim to my circumstances, whether that's uh, being burned as a kid, losing my fingers, pain that I've experienced in the past or experienced today physically or emotionally because of that, things I'm going through relationally or financially, when I choose, and it is a choice, to be a victim to my circumstances, these are three questions I ask. And I bet if I know you well, these are sometimes on your bad days, three questions you might ask as well. So I'm gonna to begin today by laying these in front of you. Question number one, that we, you and I, will find ourselves asking on our bad days, I encourage you today, leaders, to not jot these down, to not remember what I'm saying right here, because we wanna forget all about these. Question number one is this, why me? Why me? Why the bad weather? Why the wet fields? Why the constant change and struggle politically, relationally, financially? Why me? And when we ask that question, rather than being proactive, rather than rolling up our sleeves, controlling what we can, letting go of what we cannot, what I've always found is we cross our arms. We look down rather than, than up. We begin to whisper out the second question, which is, who cares? Who cares? I think who cares is the great question around indifference. Arms crossed, looking down, angry spirit. Who cares? Who cares? And it lends itself to you and me asking the third and the final question, which is, oh man, what more can I do? What more can I do? I'm too new. I'm too old. I'm too inexperienced or I'm too experienced it's never been like this. It's too hard. It's too high. It's too far. It's impossible. What more can I do? What more can I do? But today, leaders, and that is what you are today, friends, and I hope that's what you'll consider me by the end of this conversation. Today, colleagues, today, we embrace the disruption. We embrace the miracle of our life and of life itself. And we recognize that it is not easy, but the foundation is firm. The disruptions do not have to define us negatively and the best days remain in front of us. So you and I today, we're gonna to be asking three radically different questions.